Hello and welcome to Million Labs. Today we wanted to learn more about bubble templates, so we thought we'd ask Simon a question. Simon, when would you use a bubble template and when wouldn't you use a bubble template? People look at templates in bubble and go, ooh, there's a template that does what I want to do or, or it's close to what I want to do and think it's a shortcut. Templates are not like templates in lots of other products. So if you take, I don't know, a Squarespace, a WordPress, or any of those kind of website builders where you can add a template, you can look at it and go, actually, I don't like it. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to add this template instead and it will change all your, you know, your homepage and your blog post and all the rest of it. This is not like that. A template in Bubble is actually a database architecture. It is the workflows middleware and it is the front end as well. It is all of those things. Uh, and, and that makes it very different to a template in Squarespace or something like that, which really is just a visual front end wrapper thing. So this basically gives you all of that when you install it and your app is then installed with that template. You can't change that template. You are stuck with it and you're stuck with the database or architecture it gave you. You're stuck with maybe not so much the front end because you can change that, but it's stuck with a bunch of workflows. So what we find is we get lots of entrepreneurs coming to us saying, I bought this template. It kind of did what I want to do, but now I want it to do this instead. And we have to say to them, sure, we can change that, but it's going to take us the same amount of cost as if we built it from scratch, because all we're doing is performing surgery and fighting a template. And, you know, if you'd have thought about this at the start, you wouldn't have built it like this. Um, so I don't think templates are the shortcut that many people think they are. That said, where would I use a template? If I like the visual front end of a template, what I would do is I would buy it because they're like a few hundred bucks. Some of them are free. I would buy it and install it into a dummy app. So I'd create a new app in Bubble. I'd install the template into that dummy app. And then I would just go and copy and paste the bits out into my app that I wanted. So that, that's the way I would use templates. That's the way we do use templates from time to time is just go grab the bits we think look nice because really that's what you're viewing. When you view a template, you're viewing the front end. You can't, you know, you can't easily see the data architecture, and, um, et cetera. Thanks, Simon. Now we know when we should and shouldn't use templates. See you next time.